Hello, I'm Penny St, and I'm the host of Peace with Penny. In Tuesday's episode, March 29th at 11 a.m. Pacific time, we'll be speaking with Jamal Al Kurnawi, the founder and executive director of A New Dawn in the Negev. The organization is a manifestation of Jamal's desire to raise the level of education for the Bedouin community in Israel's Negev region. According to government reports, the Bedouin population of the Negev is the poorest sector in Israel, suffering from a lack of infrastructure and quality education. Bedouins are also the youngest population in Israel. 80% of the Bedouin community are under age 16. A New Dawn in the Negev is an Arab Jewish community development organization based in Rahat, Israel, where they promote education, employment, and leadership. They work together with other NGOs to promote unity, peace, and understanding. They have many creative programs between Jewish Israelis and the Bedouin community, concentrating on educational, cultural, and international activities, including partnerships between Israeli towns and Bedouin villages, emphasizing support for schools and innovative programming like the Sarab Strings of Change music programs, the Explore Rahat cultural tourism program, and international student exchanges bringing Bedouin Israeli, Jewish Israeli, and German youth together participating in dialogue circles and field trips to sites of significance to one another's history. The field trips include the teens traveling together to the Holocaust memorial sites in Germany, as well as sites in Rahat and Jerusalem. Speaking with Jamal in our pre-interview session, I was deeply moved and inspired by his passion and the originality of their programs. But peace in the Middle East? Why did this Jewish American mom get involved? It was the summer of 2014, and for my son's bar mitzvah present, just like many Jewish parents, we wanted him to bond with the Holy Land. Oh, it worked perhaps too well. My husband had stayed back at the hotel, and our friends, my son and I, had just stopped in a pharmacy. Run! Run to the bomb shelter, sweetie! Please! Please hurry! I didn't hear the sirens at first, but the Israelis did. They're used to hearing these things. We ran to the back of the storeroom. It was a 12-foot by 24-foot windowless bomb shelter. My heart's pounding. Boom! Boom! I hear it and feel the percussion of the exploding bombs. I'm trying not to get sick. I look at my 13-year-old son and I think I'll never forgive myself if something happens to him. That's an excerpt from a speech I gave to the Orange County Jewish Bar Association. It was the first but not the last time we had to run to a bomb shelter. Our adventure and my transformation is also the subject of my book, Blasted from Complacency, A Journey from Terror to Transformation in Israel. There is no chapter in a parenting book on what to do when a war starts and you're on a family vacation. Think touring extraordinary and sacred sites mixed with cowering in bomb shelters. I'm still trying to get over the Jewish guilt of taking my son to war for his bar mitzvah present. The impact of being human targets helped me understand the plight of Israelis living like this, and it also made me want to work on peace. How Israel is often described on the news is not what I'd seen with my own eyes. And I felt Palestinian parents also preferred their children playing safely in their backyards. The missiles exploded just near enough to blow apart my world as I knew it, forever changing me. And you'd never recognize my life today with what it was like then. I believe I found my life's purpose. We hope you can join Jamal al Karnawi and me on March 29th at 11 a.m. Pacific time as we discuss the unique characteristics and challenges of the Bedouin community in the Negev. Resolving these issues will result in benefits for the Bedouin community as well as all of Israel. We hope you'll join us. If our timing doesn't fit your personal schedule, you can see the recording on www.penny, the letter S, tee.com under podcasts or on the Peace with Penny YouTube channel. 
It's our intention for Peace with Penny to be a source of hope as people see that Israelis and Palestinians do want peace and bless all the intelligent, creative, and devoted peace activists who work hard to improve the lives of their communities. I'll close by mentioning the current Russian-Ukraine war. As the women carry their babies and hold their crying children's hands as they flee Ukraine as refugees, we are reminded that this is Women's History Month. What will be written in the history books about the fate of these forlorn waifs? Please consider helping ease their burden. We pray that everyone will someday live in peace, shalom, and salam. Music